a Jacqueline here. It is another Thank a Farmer series brought to you by Moore Ford Chrysler in Hartford. Today I am in beautiful Posey County, Indiana. We're still in Posey County, right? That's where we're at. <laughs> right here in Mount Vernon. And these are my friends, David and Clint Bestie. Although from now on I will refer to them as Combine Bestie and Cornhead. So don't, don't be alarmed. By the way, um, they are dad and brother to my friend Katie, who I always talk about and probably has some more information than I should about on the air. She's actually filming. Hey! hey. <laughs> so we're going to kind of talk a little bit about, actually this is our first visit to Indiana, so do you feel pretty special about that? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say, when I got here, you had treats for me, you had given me sweet corn, and your lovely wife had baked some cookies. Fresh from the oven. They were awesome. I only ate seven, don't judge me. So, we. this is actually my first time out here, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't appreciate that you've never invited me. <laughs> well, I thought you were here for Katie's You've been here before wedding. Katie? No. She wasn't here? I was here for the wedding, okay. but I, wasn't, I haven't been here. Okay. Yeah, so, so far, very impressed. Everything's clean. Who knew? <laughs> All the shops and things. So let's give a little bit of background about the Bestie Farm. So kind of tell folks kind of how you got your start. Uh, my grandpa moved here in 1929. He started farming. He rented the farm here. And then in 1960, 1960, my dad started farming and started buying the farm in 1972. and he finished buying it in 1960. And then I started farming with Dad in 1979 when I graduated high school. And told on yourself. And everybody <laughs> knows how old I am now. <laughs> so you've been farming forever. Now, Clint, are you, are you a lifer? Are you, are you happy with this decision? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I never really pushed it on him. You know, I always just wanted him to make the decision because farming, you either got to like it or you, you don't like it. So he uh, got in high school and started with FFA, and, and then that's when he started appreciating it more. And then I figured he would come on the farm. So he went to Murray and got a degree, and glad to have him here. Well, that's good stuff. So let's talk a little bit kind of about what your operation was like maybe back when your dad got started and kind of what it's grown to today. Uh, back when dad started, we had a drying bin, which is that little bin right there. Uh, we would batch dry corn, transfer it every other day, and now we have a system that dries corn on the go and transfers it automatically. And back when I started with that, we actually had to drive. Nowadays we have GPS and you set an AB line and hit the button and it drives it for you. So it's pretty nice. It helps out. I would say because I would just say, I mean, obviously when you were growing up, you just kind of had to do it. You had to follow your lines. And go you had to. You had to drive straight. Yeah. Now, Clint, you can just pretty much hop in the tractor and do whatever you want to do, and it just does all the work. Yeah, pretty well. <laughs> just gotta turn on the ends. Turn on the ends. Well, that sounds like I could do it. And see, that's why I need him around because he's the computer man. Me and Dad, we always have trouble. <laughs> I think nowadays your dad's job is pretty much to supervise and hold down the fort. Uh, he pretty much drives to town for parts. So. <laughs> But he does a lot still. Well, and I'm sure too that it, it means a lot to have, you know, all three of you here together because everybody kind of brings a new perspective in and it kind of helps with everything. He knows a lot. You know, he, he helps. So, Clint, what all do y'all farm out here? Uh, corn, beans, and wheat. Corn, beans, and wheat. So, you have a pretty big operation. How many acres do you have? 
about 1600 then some with his cousin in the bottom so a little bit. So, I think that a common theme with anyone who's in the agriculture business, you know, we said this earlier, you pretty much have to love it, and it kind of is a part of you, and I feel like that that's kind of how y'all both are. I mean, it's, it's kind of one of those things that was just kind of born with you. That's uh, most farmers that you see. I mean, they it, it's in the family, and it's passed down generation by generation. So. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. So, whatever you think about um, your life, that I would have took some more chances and bought some ground because uh, nowadays it's hard to buy ground. There's investors out there that spend a whole lot higher mm-hmm. money for ground than what I can afford. So. I understand that. Um, so Clint, when you look at, because you're, you're kind of just getting started, you know, I mean obviously you've been farming forever, but kind of at this kind of aspect of it. So. Do you see any major changes coming up? I mean, obviously technology has been a huge factor in any type of uh, farming, but are there things that you kind of want to do a little differently, maybe change it a little bit? Uh, You're going to get rid chicken. of He, he wants to get rid of me. Right? He wants to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe eventually kind of get more, more involved with the technology side of it, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And that chicken farm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, your operation, which, when did you say it began? With with this, when your dad moved here? 1960 is when he started farming. And then I started helping him and he started buying the ground in 1972. You kind of have a big job, Clint. Yeah. You think you can handle it? It's like you kinda, you're kind of you kind of destined to. So we're here in Posey County. Uh, is there anything that you want to tell folks about farming that you feel like is really important that maybe they don't know? I ain't upset at all. You should, you should, you should give a shout out to the ladies. Uh, we want to give a shout out <laughs> to our wives who help out in the background. They Another Thank a Farmer series. Besties, thank y'all so much. Oh, wait, before we go, Clint, what kind of t-shirt do you have on today for our special on WBKR.com? Uh, 97.3 WRUL. Awesome. <laughs> Rush <Russia> Rodeo. <laughs> Chad, that's a good program. You need to start listening to it. <laughs> I love it. Guys, um, look forward to more of our Thank a Farmer series through more Ford Chrysler in Hartford. Thank y'all so much for having us out thank today. You. See y'all.